Alright, so I haven't done any videos in uh, quite some time. I think my last uh, video was in May. Um, and getting used to becoming a parent is takes some time. And been tired and busy and uh, just has not had any any time to do any videos. And uh, honestly, there hasn't been a whole lot coming out that um, I wanted to really review, so... I haven't, uh, haven't had the inspiration, I guess you'd say. So today I'm going to do one on uh, one of my favorite movies of all time. It's just been released on Blu-ray. I think it was last month in June. Uh, City of the Living Dead on Blu-ray. Which is... I don't know. To me, seeing these kind of movies released on Blu-ray... It's, it's kind of interesting um, because there are some movies that uh, you, you kind of feel that are never going to look 100% um, beautiful, um, but you can be surprised. Now, this never looked completely awful on DVD, um, but man, I'm not going to sit here and tell you, obviously, what this thing's about because if you haven't seen this... Um, I don't know where you've been if you're a horror fan, but um, so I'm not going to explain what the movie's about because more than likely you probably have seen the film or, or have heard of it or you know know at least the synapses behind it. Um, but anyway, this thing looks amazing. It sounds amazing on Blu-ray. Um, if you don't have a Blu-ray player. Uh, and, I mean, go get it right now. Just for this. This looks and sounds great. Unbelievable. Um, and also, now this was released, this is released by Blue Underground. This was released on, um, I don't know if it's a two-disc DVD or just a single. But if nothing else, for the picture quality, get it for the extras. Because um, this, which I still have. Released by Anchor Bay, um, which Blue, uh, which at Blue Underground did release under its under Blue Underground, but it was basically the exact same DVD. This has nothing. Uh, it has a trailer and some radio spots. That's it. Um, now on this we have uh, Making City Living Dead, which I don't remember how long it is. I'm thinking it's about a half an hour. Got Katarina McCall on there, uh, Gina De Rossi, uh, it, just a ton of people about the making of the movie, um, which is a fantastic little feature. Uh, Acting Among the Living Dead is an interview with Katarina McCall, uh, Entering the Gates of Hell, interview with Giovanni Lombardo Rodis, or John Morgan, whichever you would like to call him, which I could watch, honestly, a compilation of his interviews because he always has something either hilarious or ridiculous to say about the movies he's in. Either, I honestly like to watch the interviews where he hates the movie that he's in. Listen to the commentary on Cannibal Ferox. It's, it's hilarious. He hates the movie so much. And he's sitting right next to the director. And all he can say is how much of this movie is this shit, it's terrible, I hate this film, I don't know, I do this for the money, I do not for nothing else but the money. Uh, it's, it's so funny when he when he hates the movie he's in. And honestly, uh, probably half of the interviews that I've seen him in, he hates the movie that he's talking about, which they're a lot more entertaining. And he had good things to say about this one, so... Uh, also, Memories of the Maestro, uh, it's a cast and crew talking about Fulci and uh, their memory to him and stuff like that, which was actually taken from, I'm pretty sure it was taken from this, um, it's like a, basically an interview compilation from people that uh, worked with and knew Fulci, and they just pretty much, you know, talk about memories of him, how he worked, what, you know anecdotes about being on set with him and stuff. So that part of the DVD is taken from that, um, this DVD. 
I'm pretty sure. Um, also, Marking of the Living Dead, which is a pretty cool little poster and still gallery. Uh, theatrical trailers and radio spots. Um, now, I'm pretty sure that on the DVD you get Making a City of the Living Dead and... I'm not sure what else. Some of these features are Blu-ray only. So, and I'm not positive which ones, but if you do not have Blu-ray and have been thinking about getting one, uh, and you need a reason, this is the reason. It's a fantastic Blue Underground release. Um, they're starting to really put a lot of their movies on Blu-ray that were on DVD. They just released The Prowler, which is one of my favorite slasher films of all time, um, which I'll be picking up pretty soon. I don't think they really did a special edition of that. They just kind of re-released their DVD version on Blu-ray. But, um, fantastic release. Props to Blue Underground. Again, you guys, I mean, well, when, you know, the company's owned by Bill Lustig, you know, the guy that did Maniac and Maniac Cop, among other things. What else can you expect? But, uh, good stuff. So, um, I'm going to be trying to do more of these because it seems that people like them. I didn't think anybody would like them, but it seems that people, people dig them. So I'm waiting on my Nightmare Legacy, that eight-hour documentary or four-hour documentary, whatever, eight-hour DVD on the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street series. So um, once I get through watching that, once it shows up, which could take forever, but uh, I'll uh, that'll be my next review. So hopefully you guys uh, dig that. See you next time.